Welcome to my new desktop PC. Uh, I was going to um, try to do this all fancy, but in the end I decided I'd just do um, do a couple uh, rough cuts first. I think I might be having some audio problems. Uh, it's probably the be the best way to find out. So I'm uh, as you as you know that even just displaying things in full screen mode is is um, interesting. So um, you have to bear with me. Uh, uh, yeah, I mentioned it in some of my other videos. My um, my original desktop's getting getting very old, uh, especially for playing modern games. Uh, it's about six years old now. It's only a um, a fairly low level i5 with a uh, a uh, two gigabyte graphics card. Um, it's a um, GTX uh, 750 Ti. It's never seemed to run very well, maybe because it's um, the cooling's not all, all that good in my um, in my case. So I've just spent the last week um, getting up to speed with all the new kit. The gamers go and put in their PCs um, these days, and I've come up with a list of parts, and I ordered them, and um, some of them arrived. Have arrived, not all of them. I've got about half of them. I uh, might have some trouble with the, um, the my other, other, other shipment. Anyway, I'll show you what I got. Uh, following my own um, advice, I tended to design the uh, the desktop around the, the the video card I wanted. So in the end, I settled on a um, a GeForce RTX uh, 2080 Super. Um, it's not exactly I guess it's a top of the top of the sec oh, top of the middle tier I'd call it because you can get better cards than this. Uh, like you can get the the uh, TI, and I think in, there's still other ones you can get like the um, might be the Titan or something like that. And I was also told that the um, this this is the uh, 20 series card. The uh, 30 series cards might be due out um, next year. So you know, if you keep waiting, you can always get something better. But if you um, do that, you'll 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 be waiting forever. Um, the bottom line with this one is um, I'll go over the its features. The most important features for gaming. Uh, it's got eight. 8 gigabytes of uh, memory. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. 8 gigabytes of memory, which you know, even for um, for playing like Red, Dem Red Dead Re Redemption at, at high levels, at high settings, and that you need probably starting to look at um, at needing 8 gigabytes. So I'm hoping 8 gigabytes will be enough for the next five years. Uh, it's got uh, GDDR6 memory, which is a bit faster than all the other memories. Uh, it's got this rather controversial feature, uh, ray tracing. That's what the RTX stands for. And of course, your game's got to actually support um, ray tracing. And um, oh, I started looking into it, and it's complicated because there's different forms of ray tracing and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not even gonna. I didn't even worry about ray tracing to be quite honest. If it turns out to be good and I made the right decision, great. Um, if not, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, it's overclocked. This model is overclockable as well. But um, I've explained before that I I try not to um, overclock things except for one one or two exceptions. I'd rather I I I I build my PC so they last five to six years. Uh, for reasons of expense, so I don't really want to overclock them. Uh, maybe if they're getting towards the end of their life, I'll consider overclocking them just to squeeze a bit more out of them. But um, I, I don't see the point of overclocking. Um, oh, I won't talk about it this time. I talked about it in in, in another video. <laughs> All right, that's the graphics card. Um, oh, straight away it's gone and done something strange to me. Right, 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 okay. <laughs> I had it all set up and all went to, um, yeah. Alright, the next um, important thing is the CPU. Okay, uh, this is a, a Intel Core i9-9900KF. Um, 
um, you may be wondering what the heck is the F it just means it's the version of the car that does not have onboard on graphics um, so I decided to go with this one because uh, you actually save well in my case I saved around a hundred dollars and um, I was trying to build this whole system to a budget so I was getting to a point where a hundred dollars had become significant so yeah it um, you, you always need a graphics card with it but I, I, I don't I don't consider that that a, ma a major problem it might come back to bite me if there's a problem with the uh, mate the um, the the PCI graphics card but anyway I'll, t I'll take that risk just to save a hundred dollars uh, this one's got uh, eight, oh, so I can, I've been spending a week at this I can just rattle off the specs <laughs> off the top of my head now uh, but you know anything I say uh, d double 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 check uh, oh sorry I forgot uh, my, my disclaimer I'm not a computer technician I'm only giving um, uh, what I've done so it's just personal stuff so um, um, yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not advise. I'm. I'm not advising anything really. I'm just giving you my my own personal opinion on stuff. So um, if you really do need to know what's going on, go and look it up. There's plenty of um, plenty of resources on the web. Uh, the i9. It's got um. It's got eight um, cores, and it's got. Um, it also uses uh, a multi-processing technique called hyperthreading. Um, at least the Intel call it hyper I think other people call it, it goes by a different name but in effect it allows um, the processor to, to, to appear to have more more cores than it does so you get six, 16 of those you pretty much you get two two per um, you get 16 threads per, per, per core so you got eight cores 16 threads now I'll um, what's gotten all um, everyone excited and uh, there's a lot of Intel bashing going on is um, AMD brought out a uh, new chip um, which they call the Ryzen 3950X now it's got um, it's got 16 cores and 32 threads I hope I got that right and everyone was saying how one wonderful it is and all that and oh yeah yeah you look at some of the benchmarks it's it performs a bit better. It really depends on what what, what you're doing, um, but um, yeah, at least in our country, the yeah, you you've got to pay a premium if you want to get one. And also at this um, on this particular date, the fifth of December, just after the um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, you cannot buy one. <laughs> They're out of stock pretty much everywhere. And if they do order one in for you, they um they're they're restricting it to say one per household, so people so people can't um, can't kind of um, corner large quantities and resell them. I assume. Oh, who knows? Who knows what they're doing? But they're um, you have to order them at this point, and um, they restrict you to one one per um, household. So I guess they're going to check that against your address or something like that. It's all it's all it's all pretty crazy. I I usually just ignore all all that all that. I was I was curious, but but in the end. Um, when I costed out my systems, the i9 uh, system still still came in uh, cheaper, cheaper than an AM equivalent or maybe a slightly better AMD system. Um, if well, if I wanted it, that's if I wanted a um, a 3950 50 card. I uh, couldn't really see how it was going to speed up many of the games that I was going to play anyway. So I just stuck with the um, the Intel the Intel um, one. Uh, right. Um, is there anything else I can really say about it? Uh, no, nah, it's 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 a it's a K model, so that means it's um, they they allow you to um, overclock clock it. Um, again, I'm not planning on overclocking it, so I design my cooling system and all that accordingly, and my power supply to to come to think of it. Um, yeah, if you're going to overclock, you um, you have to look at your um, cooling, your your case, your case cooling very very carefully, because if you just if you just um, firmly throttle, you overclock and it just makes the thing run too too hot. You're going to lose any uh, benefits from um, overclocking. There's not much point. Anyway, these this particular 
Intel architecture has um, uh, it has um, turboing already already built in, so of course I'll enable the turboing. Um, that's all good. Um, after that, uh, the motherboard. Okay, I went with a um, another. It's they call it a raw. A O R U S. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, Oris, uh, whatever. It's 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 a gigabyte motherboard. <laughs> I I got a gigabyte motherboard in my old system. You know they um the utilities they supply and all that drive me absolutely crazy. But but they seem to be pretty reliable, so I was quite happy to go with this one. Now this one, it's um it's what they call would call in the US. USA a um, uh, $200 uh, motherboard which um, we, uh, when you convert that to, to when you buy it here that that means it costs over for just a bit over $300 now it's about the um, it's about so it's not it's probably getting I wouldn't even call it a middle tier card I'd, I'd call it top of the low, low tier card and I don't want to offend anybody, so if I've offended anybody, too bad. Um, yeah, but they this one is sort of just good enough. I think it's to do with the um, amount of power that you can um, switch switch through the board without starting to cause issues with some of your um, components. I can't can't remember what they call that those little um, doohickeys. Um, Voltage management, something or others. Any, anyway, I had a quick look at that, and they said this is just this. Um, they will recommend this, this, um, this one for overclocking, but only sort of just. And yeah, I could, I could have got a much better um, motherboard if I wanted to spend a few hundred more dollars. But I thought at this point in time, this one was um, more than sufficient. So I think it's. Um, you wouldn't call it a shabby, shabby card, but. I wouldn't call it a uh, top top tier card anyway, but they seemed happy about the um, the the voltage switching on this one. They said it was sort of a a adequate for the job, so that was good enough for me. Not that I know all that much about the subject, but that's a reason why I personally bought it. Um, um, um probably this is this is important. Now this, I, I I did a bit more care on on um, my SSD, uh, so I've gone with the option of having a one terabyte um, system system um, drive or operating system drive, whatever you want to call it, the one that you're going to install Windows on. Um, now I paid a paid a premium for this one. Um, I could have got it a, a lot cheaper, a lot lot cheaper, but this one. Um, the re the reviews were just so dazzling. I thought, yeah, I got I got to get I got to get at least one one I got to get my f system drive fast, and it's one terabyte, so that will be enough room for Windows plus a uh, number of my computer games as well, which some I think um, one one I just a new computer game that I just looked at the other day requires 120 gigabytes just to install, so. Um, the reason being, it um, if you've got a um, an SSD, especially a fast SSD like this this one, this this is the model that that mounts directly on the uh, the, the the motherboard. That's the M.2 form factor, and it's also it's the next step up from a SATA as well. That's the NVMe. Um, but you know, if you really if you're a freed a speed freak, go and go and look into that. There's a lot of other um, it's compatible with a certain type of new version of PCI Express Bus and stuff like that. You know, I I, I figured I I had heard enough and I decided to pay the premium and get this one. Um, so hopefully it will um, reduce. See, I make videos and um, some of the oh, I'm too lazy to edit out the loading screens. So I'm I'm hoping that this <laughs> will do 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 the job for me. You know. Uh, so yeah, so that's 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 one terabyte is is more than enough for your operating system plus a number of um, 
programs that you want to operate quickly you know even things like streaming files and like that might might, might make a difference um, next up is the memory okay this is pretty pretty standard sort of memory these days um, I could have got faster I got free f I got f um, 3000 memory um, which is just a little bit of an overclock for this um, type of motherboard I think the the kind of the um, the base frequency is 2666 uh, for the memory so um, obviously there'll be an, an XMP profile um, you just select it from the BIOS if it's not selected automatically and it will overclock the memory to um, 3000 megahertz and you'll get a, a, a reasonable performance gain from that um, I could have got memory that was a lot lot faster but it would probably cost me cost me more and also you got to um, the one thing I am careful about is if they have actually um, verified the memory to be okay with that motherboard I just didn't want to take take a risk so I went over the um, what do they call it the I'll write some notes here I've got a term for it uh, the the QVL the um, qualified uh, I think that stands for qualified vendor list so every time I, I had a look at a, a mother, motherboard I went went and found the uh, manual and that and went over the qualified vendor list just to see if they said it had been verified to work with that that um, that particular um, even even the batch of memory I think this is the um, don't quote me on this but I think they call this the Samsung configuration or something um, maybe it's what they test first look you know I have a memory other memory um, batches will probably work but if they haven't checked then, then then you don't know if they've got problems so I decided to be safe so um, so there you go I've got the old Corsair because I am um, that's a reasonable brand and I only got 16 gigabyte just to keep my prices down so I was like I said I was getting to the point where a hundred dollars here a hundred dollars there were was make, making a difference because I wanted I wanted to spend all my money on the um, the monitor and on the video card and to a certain extent the uh, CPU as well but ev even then I um, uh, you know I could have gone Ryzen if I wanted a better CPU and that would have cost me so many more hundreds of dollars so I thought the graphics card and the, the, the display I basically designed the system around the graphics card and also I included in that the uh, monitor Unfortunately, I haven't received the mon monitor yet, but I'll put that in the next video because there's a lot to lot to, lot of stuff that went into my decision f for that for that monitor. Anyway, the the memory is pretty standard. I got 16 gigabytes. There's um, there's four slots memory slots on the motherboard, so I can just if I ever need um, more than 16, I can just go buy some more. You know, a year, 18 months down the track, something like that. So I made sure that I didn't didn't use up all my slots this time. <laughs> that's that's a kind of a newbie mistake. Because uh, then if you want to upgrade your memory, you got you've got to buy the whole kit. You know you can't sort of you're not supposed to mix and match different types of memory together. Anyway, I'll read up read up up on that one. I have to. As far as I know, I can just put in another, pro preferably from the same manufacturer. It may maybe maybe I'll even find the exact same type I'll put another 16 in if I want to go up to 32 gigabytes um, everything else on it's just vengeance and all that's just marketing blurb alright um, now we're getting down into the generics <laughs> uh, yeah the old um, okay um, the old hard drive the HHD so I was going to go for a full uh, solid state drive SSD configuration uh, but the um, the thing is um, okay I've got one terabyte for the Windows drive um, but you, even, even my old old system is my old PC has got has got um, 
yeah, put put it that way. You you want a couple more terabytes these days, especially if you don't want to um, do that slim. If you've got a number of games that you play, even play occasionally, some large ones, you'll have to you'd have to back them up and stuff like that. If you run out, I'd prefer to just leave them on the drive if I can. Anyway, I decided I, I wanted another two terabyte, but when I um, when I uh, costed that out as a uh, as as a solid state drive it added another couple of hundred dollars to my con config which blew my budget again so in the stead I decided I'd have one really really good um, um, SSD for the system drive and for my secondary drive I'd just have a standard 3.5 inch SATA um, um, you know whatever they call them magneto drives these days now these these are Barracu Seagate Barracudas. Everyone seems to love the Seagate Barracudas. I think one of the reasons why, and it's also it was even in Australian money, it was under a hundred dollars as well. So I didn't have much money left by that stage in my budget. Um, the thing that I was careful about it uh, it may not. It may not show on this package. It's it's actually one of the faster hard drives. It's actually 7,200 RPM, as opposed to um, I think about five five thousand RPM, something like that. But they say get get the um, you know get if you're going to get a hard drive, get make sure you get a fast faster one. Um, and you know it it may or may not, not make a significant difference, but um, they're almost the same price these days anyway, so you might as well, well get, get, get the better one. Everyone seemed pretty happy with these, um, the Barracudas. Um, they quite, quite often give, they seem to give them away when they're doing a, like a deal, like, you know, buy a graphics card, get it, or buy a motherboard and get a free, free hard, hard drive they give you. They give you a Seagate Barracuda, so, um, they must, they must be okay. Uh, so I've got that. Um... Alrighty. Um, oh yeah, that was that was the other thing I was going to do. I was going to show. There's all the bits, which what people were interested in. So we're getting into the the boring stuff now. So if you're just interested in uh, in um, eye candy and computer computer um, pornage, you um, you just done it. Um, now I used a um, a very good site called um, Part Picker to actually. Uh, Design uh, my build. I really, I really liked. It. I've taken the prices out because I don't want people to know what prices I actually paid. Because there's always some smartass that said, "Oh, I could have got that, you know, for half that price." Blah blah blah. I said, "Yeah, well, you know, and spend another week doing research." Um, it was all giving me me a headache. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but you can see over here on the on the left. I've been trying. I tried several different configurations. Just to see how the um, the cost came out. Um, uh, so you know, I just go through this very briefly. So anyway, this is this is a good site. I mean, it will try. It will try to channel channel you if you click on something and then buy something. Um, I'm sure they get a couple of cents or something, you know. Um, so they will try to direct you to um, um their 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 preferred um. Um, uh, what do they call them? Um, um, merchants, I think. Um, hang on, let's. What do they call it? Um, oh yeah, that's right. If you go to go to here, then you go to pr price by merchant. You can break it down. It's quite 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 useful actually, because um, obviously they've tailored it for Australia. This this one, so it um, it got me to the suppliers that I I normally use or would use in Australia. I was I was actually going to I was thinking about actually mentioning who they were, but I decided in the end I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Um that's whatever price I paid is between me and me and my merchant and that's that I, I deal with them. And the transaction's done, so um that's that. Move on. Now the good thing about this is you can actually um you can you can save it, and you can also let anyone else um, um, go and have a look at your config if you like. And there's all sorts of um, builds that completed builds and things that other people have done. So 
it's it's and then people can comment on them and stuff like that so if you you're wanting to look at different options and stuff it's um good idea to it helps helps out to see what other people put in put in their builds um like you can um i think uh yeah there it is there there's like a link anyway i'll put i'll put the link in the description so you can have a look at mine if you like but i did i did take the price and vendors off it <laughs> i didn't i didn't or merchants as they're calling them i didn't want people to see that um yeah it gives you all sorts of um well it's true it's, it's a marketing site so it's trying to see it tries to, it's trying to sell you something they're trying to work work both sides of the deal they're trying to get you to buy from the merchants and they're also obviously got some sort of arrangement with the merchant before they even show them here so it's just a typical um, shopping website like say Amazon or um, Newegg or something like that you know but I found it very very useful and if they made a few cents out of me well um, good on them um, I call this one de desktop PC 2 blue so it's you know um, might as well get into the hate, hey? Uh, team blue, go team blue forever, you know? <laughs> You're either a blue man or a red man, apparently. <laughs> it's all pretty, pretty juvenile. <laughs> Don't worry about any of that, that Intel versus AMD stuff. Just, just buy, buy, buy what suits your purpose for the best price that you can get for it. <laughs> um, anyway, it's crazy. Uh, I'll just go through it very quickly because there's a few other items here that I that I'll put in the next video. Uh, I got an air cooler there, um, <coughs> which is um, uh, probably that's that's good enough for. Oh, geez, there's still prices on that bloody thing. Sorry, I wasn't going to do that. Um, I'm not an advertising um, channel. Sorry, I just do it from here. Yeah, I did a. a my build has got an air cooler. Um, the motherboard I've already done, the memory I've done, <coughs> the system SSD I've done, the um, the secondary drive SS, um, HD I've done, video card I've done, oh the, um, the fra <coughs> oh excuse me, um, I'm going from one of these uh, fractal design Meshify C towers, um, which look Really, really, really cool. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like the glass panels, but I couldn't find a, a model in in my country that had had just the steel panels, so I just just gave up and just got the standard ones. Because uh, you know, when people put glass in the side of their um, cases, then then they tint the glass. I mean, I mean, what do they? You know, do they want people to see the guts of their computer or not? You know. <laughs> I can never understand some of this stuff. <laughs> I would have just gone with a sheet sheet of steel. <laughs> that would have been fine with me. Um, maybe it's a, a slightly smaller uh, case, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I, I looked at a lot of lot of different things in that case because uh, I'm going to be assembling this myself. So any any um, any help I get would be real good. Anyway, I'll go over the details in the next video. Uh, just a Corsair um, uh, power supply. I figured um, 750 watts was um, um, probably more than enough for this configuration. Maybe if you, you you're going to be an overclocking fiend, perhaps you'd go up maybe a little higher than 750. Any anyway, I'll tell you. I'll let you know how I get on. Um, you know, it's gold certified, um, you know, rhubarb, 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 la -dee da I, gu I guess it all makes a big difference to somebody, but it makes a big difference to the price, that's for sure. But anyway, I followed, followed the advice and got a, a Corsair gold, gold rated one. Uh, sometimes I think they just invent these, these words just to make it look a bit more flashy. Now the display, yeah, I, um... Oh, I sweated blood, sweat, and tears deciding on the display. I must have, <coughs> I must have evaluated at least twenty, twenty different, um, twenty different models. I gave myself a complete migraine in the pro, 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 in the process, and they're all, they're all making rather, 
bizarre, you know, some claims about them that are bordering on the bizarre, in my opinion. Anyway, there's only a couple of things that I think are really important. Uh, one is a size, so I went for a 20, 27 inch. Uh, I've been playing with a 23 inch monitor and I thought, oh, 27 would be great, but I don't want, I don't want to go any bigger than that. Um, <coughs> it's not even a 4K monitor. Um, I, I figured, um, okay, my system's going to be at the top of the middle tier, but it doesn't have to be 4K. Um, so I decided on a... Um, uh, uh, one, uh, 1440 uh, line line model um, so I guess some people call it 2k if you're into all that jargony stuff but the thing is it's 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 in a um, landscape format it's got um, 1440 um, lines in the scan lines in the vertical direction now the other important thing is the refresh rate so I went with the um, <coughs> the 144 hertz uh, refresh. So, in, you know, my my monitor that I got now is 60, and I do intend to um, get a number of games well over 60 frames per second. So, um, I think the rule of thumb is you um, you pick a refresh rate that's always going to be a bit higher than the um, the the uh, frame rate that you're going to try to get out of your game. Anyway, there's a lot more I can say about this monitor. Um, oh, I guess the other, other one other important aspect is the type of panel, and I went for a um, an IPS panel, um, not a VA, not an MN, just a, just an I think they call it IPS IPS because it's I won't just be playing games. I'll also be using it for a bit of um, photographic editing and stuff like that and apparently that's um, um, it's a it's a little it's a little bit better f f for that so so um, yeah I think that was about the only other significant thing that I was worried about oh there's all this malarkey about you know g-sync and all this sort of stuff but once I dug into it I discovered it was um, not if, when you say G-Sync, where you first got asked what level of G-Sync, and I think I'm starting to think, oh my god, so I'm going to have to go for all the different permutations, am I? I oh, so we really wouldn't do this to us, but they've done it to us. So in the end, I I guess it's a G-Sync compatible monitor. Um, I, I I guess you can call it that. Anyway, I'll, I'll go once once it arrives and I can have a good look at it. <laughs> Um, I will um, have more to say about it in the next video. So, okay. Uh, I made my disclaimer. Done that one. Um, oh, yeah, I did went and did a lot of my selection through. <laughs> even 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 Australia's got Black Friday and Cyber Monday now. And actually, I, I did... Um, I got one thing out of it. I got a free copy of... Um, um, Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare which is worth $75 Australian um, uh, so it's a military game I would not normally have bought a military game and I was thinking can I can I just give this away to a relative or something apparently you can't it's tied into your um, it came with the NVIDIA um, RTX card so apparently it's to, to when you redeem it you've it's got to go and scan your card or something for some internal ID so they um, they uh, they've got all that locked down they don't let you sort of give your bonuses away you either use them or lose them uh, so that was Call of Duty Modern Warfare so I'll actually do a cold play on that because I'll, I'll intentionally not read anything about the game and I'll just one night or one weekend I'll just install it and do do you know uh, four or five one hour episodes and decide if I like it or not but that'll be an interesting series. Um, yeah, there's the only, the only thing I'm going to say about the suppliers whom I, I'm not mentioning um, that I use. I, I use two in the end. Um, one that I used before, and another one that was recommended to me um, by a friend. 
I did notice there on something you um you want to read their um terms and conditions very carefully. Uh, especially when it comes to warranties and returns and stuff like that, because they do vary a bit. Um, in Australia, we've got sort of got an interesting situation, and I'm no legal expert, but I get all my stuff delivered. I don't go and pick it up myself, and I'm in Sydney, and it tends to come from Melbourne. The best, some of the best um, suppliers are in Melbourne. You know, they'll just send it up by a courier takes a couple of days and you know you'll pay for that apparently as soon as um, the way the law seems to work is as soon as, as soon as they ship ship that item um, that's it their, their responsibility um, for that item has has left them and is now yours because um, you've, you've bas basically purchased a good so they they're in effect um, organizing that career um, on your behalf, but it's your courier, not theirs. <laughs> so, um, if something is broken in transit or even even lost, technically it's not it's not their responsibility for that. It's um, it's yours. It's your loss because you've bought you've already you already own the items in effect. Um, and you know, if they can, if if there's a dispute, if they can prove that they um, they ship that item, then that's it, pretty much. Um, that's the end of the story. But it doesn't mean that they um, they won't have a, a goodwill arrangement where, if something goes missing or something is broken, they um, they might they might replace it for you or they may not and and I'm not going to say which supplier will do that and which supplier won't do that because I decided I won't I, I won't get into trouble get myself into trouble by saying that but my recommendation is you um, you um, go and read the terms and conditions very carefully to see what their policy is on um, on um, uh, <coughs> damaged damaged or lost goods in transit I think they call it and um, you can get any even I can, I can I can mention Australia Post uh, Australia Post um, liability is a hundred dollars so even even if they break technically speaking if they break break your item they yeah. just give you a hundred dollars and that's the end of the story so yeah yeah it can if you I just realized that you know I ordered many thousands of dollars worth of parts so I had to think about that um, quite carefully and I think um, so should you it honestly I've never had anything damaged in transit yet so you'd have to be unlucky but I guess it can happen or well, stuff goes missing you know first first um, take it up with take it up with the, the courier if that happens and also um, um, let also let your um, supplier know that that there's an issue as well and um, take it from there but um, don't don't assume that it is somebody else's problem. <laughs> it might be your problem. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough um, talk from me for now. Um, I'll, I'll just show you something really disgusting. Um, just have a look at this. It's um, yeah, that's um, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. That's smoke. That's smoke from bushfires, and that's one reason why I got a croaky voice and um, um, uh, you know basically the smoke affects me and I won't go outside when the, when it's like this honestly that's that's all smoke so it's all pretty um, pretty grotty outside so people being careful about running and some people wearing masks and um, all sorts of things going on so it's pretty 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 grim there's Sydney there I don't know if you can see the cursor uh, uh, they've got an easterly breeze now, which means they've got a sea breeze coming in, but the sea breeze doesn't penetrate that far in, as you can tell. The um, the smoke is blowing um, west west to east. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if it's still um, showing up on the Japanese radar system. Yeah, maybe it is, because the sun's setting at the moment, so I can't be bothered pulling up an archive I uh, just try to um, just let that load up that I don't know if you can see my cursor that that 
greyish blotch in the middle is not a cloud, that's smoke. And uh, I'll show you. Yeah, this, I don't know, again, I can't, don't know if you can see my cursor, but where I'm circling, that's the smoke cloud. Um, and f I realised today, for comparison, it's um, it's at least the size of New Zealand. <laughs> this green green blotch over here is is um, is New Zealand. The North Island is just there. Again, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. So it's all pretty um, pretty pretty grim at the moment. And this is not even a really hot a really hot and a really windy day. Like it's maybe got up to about low 30s today, perhaps. With maybe a 30 knot wind, perhaps uh, it could get a lot worse than that. So um, yeah, we're looking like we're we're going to have an interesting summer. Um, you know, other people get this too. They get it over in California, and they can even get it over in um, Spain and Portugal and stuff like that. But um, we're certainly copying it this summer. Alrighty, so um, I'll just, before I get even more gloomy, I'll. Um, I'll um, fin finish up and um, see how the audio sounds like, and um, and hopefully I'll I'll get when I get my next uh, consignment from the other supplier because some of the items um, were on back order and I wanted the uh, that particular item so badly I wasn't going to change my order, so I could get those that could take me up to a week to get the other consignment. Okay, catch you next time.